am today is with my personal trainer Gavin Townsend at his store in Redditch here, the Jim Bean store. And as you can see, we're stacked out with uh, products and serves. We're just about to do a personal training session, uh, but I want to catch this guy's uh, and get his opinions on some stuff. Gav, introduce yourself. Um, yeah, hi guys. I'm Gavin Townsend. Been a personal trainer for over 12 years. Uh, Ashley uh, started with me late last year as a client. Over the last 12 years, I've helped well over 10,000 people online, one-to-one. -one. Now I've got my own studio and a shop based in Redditch. And uh, as a hobby, I interview sports stars, I go to exhibition shows, and I've also got my own fitness brands as well. And I do quite a lot actively in the fitness world today. And uh, yeah, Ashley's come on a long way since we've started. Brilliant, as you can see. What I wanted to do, because most personal trainers, that, that I've, I've seen a lot of personal trainers, and what I truly believe is, uh, personal trainers can be either, you know, one of two things. Mm. They can be very, very good or very, very bad. But what I've noticed is they don't have long-term clients. Would you mm. agree with that? Oh, definitely. I've had some clients for about 10 years. And over the last 12 years, I've seen well over a thousand trainers come and go in this industry. It's, uh, it's renowned for one of the worst retention uh, type of industries out there, mainly because most people come into the industry thinking it's going to be great for them once they've got the qualifications, but they don't actually have any business acumen or skills. Fortunately for myself, I've always worked with uh, entrepreneurs of all types from different sectors, industries, and I've just learned off them. I'm a bit of a, um, a freak in that in, in that state because um, I just learn. I'm like a sponge when it comes to speaking to uh, people who are into business. And I've just applied all these skills and all this knowledge over the years into my own brands and into myself and what I do. See, what I like about Gavin is he runs his personal training stuff and he, he, he practice what he preaches of keeping himself really, really fit, does lots and lots of shows and stuff like that. But he runs it alongside his business, so he understands the actual thing, need of, of profit and he has all these different flows of income. Mm. Um, he's got his brand, I'm all branded up. Uh, uh, actually, it's now the brand. <laughs> <laughs> branded up. Um, so you've got your clothing brand, yeah, your so, own sports nutrition. So I own Jim Bing, which is a gym wearing sports nutrition accessories brand uh, in the fitness gym industry. I've just set up a new brand called Beyond Human, which was originally Jim Bing's uh, company slogan. I've actually decided to set up as a team wear and uh, sports brand. I've also got Muscle Treats, which is a high protein, low sugar treats brand. And I'm also in the process of rebranding my shop. And um, yeah, I've got, my, I've got my hands involved in a few other uh, sectors and uh, more in the fitness world. Well, I've got this thing about personal trainers. Now, I truly believe that personal trainers are, well, good personal trainers aren't cheap. No. And cheap personal trainers aren't good. Necessarily, Would yeah. you say? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's some trainers who are fantastic, but they just don't, I, I feel that they've got an inner confidence issue uh, in, in charging their worth. Um, I, I charge my worth, and that's why sometimes I get deemed as expensive. Uh, but my argument is, I don't know any other trainer in the, the area um, who's been in this industry as long as I have or worked with so many people and yeah knowledge is king brilliant I true and also what I what I like about you Gav is that um, when I started with Gavin I was you know I was a bit out of shape how much did you weigh I think I was getting on just under 14 stone 13 yeah. stone how, something how much you know? uh, well I'm about 11 but I was down to about 10 when you got me really trimmed yeah. that, down to 10 just over 10 and yeah, a bit. Yeah, so you discovered uh, coke again. Coke again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and cake. <laughs> yeah, cake. You won't edit this bit, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, um, but um, what, I, what I like about Gary, I've seen personal trainers before, and I'm, well, I'm a 46 year old man, and uh, I was really out of shape, and um, a lot of personal trainers just want to literally um, make you sick, give you, give you a nutrition plan that you, you could perhaps not really, you know, you're depriving yourself of stuff. Mm. And you see your personal trainer for maybe, you know, up to two, three, four months, and then just say, you know, this is too difficult. And what I did like about Gav, and why I'm still with Gav now, and it, it, you know, a good year on, is the fact that he took into consideration, firstly my age, what my physical abilities were, um, my nutritional, what I needed. Um, he also did spent a lot of time with me, a good hour, finding out about where I was. Uh, personally, I was I was really you're a, poorly. You're, you're in a wrong. You're in a bad place. Yeah, emotionally, I, I wasn't I wasn't great with with some personal losses in the family. Um, Gav took all that into consideration. Um, 
and gave me a plan that made me want to keep coming back and, and, and set my goals. Now, I've got, I've got a picture here on, on my, uh, my iPad. Uh, so, Gab's gonna sh so initially, you, you fixated more on uh, fat loss and increasing energy levels as much we as uh, building your yeah. body strength. So this and, is the first, first that, phase that's for us. first phase, and then naturally the second phase is going to be more body sculpting. But as you can see, Ashley's lost in excess of two and a half stone. Two and a half stone, yeah. I would say, in, in, in body good. fat. And uh, what's our next stage? Yeah? What we're going to be doing over the over the coming months and, and and over the coming years, let's say, what we're going to be doing for, for me personally. I'm 46, don't forget. I know. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm, go I'm going to do the anti-aging process. <laughs> I've, I've got onto his body. Now I'm going to get onto ivory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. no we, 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 so we're heading towards the age of 50 now, Gav. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm liking that. Isn't it? yeah. he's, he's got the he's he's quite tight the, there. The guns out. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> Tell, what, what, what's our plan? What's our plan for the so, future? So the game plan for Ashley over the next uh, few years is, is naturally to reduce body fat levels, but in a healthy manner. Um, retain the current nutrition strategy that we've got, but not go down the route of crash dieting. Uh, we're going to look at the likes of your symmetry, your posture. We're going to carry on doing posture analysis. We'll also identify with the, um, the tension that you've got in one leg. Um, it's, it's tighter on one side than the other. Um, also, try and keep it fun as well, uh, keep it enjoyable. Each time you get to a plateau with your fitness, we'll question it. And I want to keep the ratio of strength training to cardiovascular training uh, quite even so that you've got um, a level of good musculature, but at the same time you, you feel fit with it as well. I mean, so many people who look great, but deep down they're just dying because, yeah. Everyone is. Yeah. Everybody that we all are. They're just not, not looking after themselves well. Okay, okay, we've got a few minutes left. So, right. Let's give these guys some advice, some added value to this video. We've got some one or two tips on fitness first, okay. on exercise that they can take away. Yeah. Some positive stuff that they can do. Some free advice from Gab now. First thing, no exercise. So let, let's give you let's give you three simple tips, um, tips that most trainers won't discuss or um, tips you might not even thought about. Most people, when they go onto a fitness craze or a new diet, they tend to plateau, and it's when you get to that plateau you need to question it. So. What I try and do with clients is initially work out a strategy which gets them to that plateau where they feel that they're, they're, um, they're, they're, they've hit a, a bit of a brick wall and then question it. So I then look at, most people come into fitness to, to just look fit and feel fit. Once they've reached that goal, perhaps look at a sport. So you've got, you, you take the goal from being fitness orientated to more of a sport orientation and that really helps a lot of people. Now my second major tip is uh, you can do all the training in the world but if you can't get the training right in the kitchen aka what you actually eat um, you're running on a lost cause especially on fat loss now this comes on to my final um, tip mainly for women out there um, the um, the more muscle you have the more fat you burn the slimmer you look and sorry that's my brother in the background <laughs> Do you want to come say hello, like Rich Rich? This, this, is, is, part, this is the second part of Gavin's business. How are we doing? It's called Rip Bros. Yeah. As you can see, these both guys. <laughs> you can go sort out your client, mate, because you're making me look a bit smaller. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens when you stand right in front of the camera. <laughs> you look extra big. You do. Uh, but going on to my third tip, uh, basically for women out there, the, the misconception is when they do weights, they're going to put a lot of muscle on and look like Arnie. But the reality is, you won't because your nutrition profile won't be the same and you won't be doing as heavier weights and your anatomy is completely different as well so just remember that the more muscle you have the more fat you burn the slimmer you look that's my third tip brilliant now what i said earlier gav um right you've got a shop yeah even ready to give us the uh, exact postcode postcode is Bri uh, bravo 97 so that's b97 six dj right so anywhere within a 30 50 mile radius get down to see gavin well i'm going to put gavin on the spot here Anybody who mentions my name who comes into the shop, Gav, yeah. what are you going to do for them? Uh, I'm going to do a high five. <laughs> Come on, Gav. We that's, like deals. That's, we that's, like deals. That, that's what I'm famous for. The thing really, is, what, what I really like doing is getting a deal. Yeah, yeah. You, like, you like getting deals. So too. anybody who mentions my name comes into the shop, what deal can you do them? Oh, um, I'll do a special rate on uh, on PT, but also on online PT as well. Brilliant. So I'll, I'll discuss that with Ashley. Fantastic. Okay. Now, where I started with Gab, I did one of these online programs. It's online because if you if you're living in in Scotland and or Devon or something like that, you're not going to be coming to see Gab every single week. But they can take advantage of how I started Gav, which was with the online um, 
um, transformation, 12 week transformation package. Yeah. Spent about £100 on that. If someone goes online now, does that, puts my name into, we'll set up a code for them. We'll work out a deal and there'll be a good discount then. Fantastic. The, the code's going to be something like Ashley or something like that. Yeah, or better still, they'll, they'll just email in with reference to it and I'll work Right, out. what's your email address, Gav? Uh, gtptltd at gmail.com. Fantastic. So you guys email Gav at that. And he's going to uh, sort you out a deal. Any questions? Give him a give him a shout. I fully recommend 100% Gavin Towns. And I travel in 45 miles every Saturday morning, coming to see Gav. And I beat him like a pinata. Yeah, we're making <laughs> making me feel good, making me making me feel better. I don't to, right at this moment in time. I'm not bothered what anybody thinks about me, but as long as I feel great, that's that, that's it. That's it. Yeah, and, and, and on the final note, it's it's not just about looking good it's about feeling good as well and one thing I've noticed with Ashley especially in the last uh, year is that his energy levels have improved his skin complexions improved his mannerisms his posture and, and like I said there's too much fixation on um, body fat and the, 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 the things that you see in front people neglect important things such as back posture and a few other things so just take those into consideration especially when you're looking for a trainer so 100% recommendation from myself, Gavin Townsend. Check him out at Jim Bean as well. Got some great uh, gym wear, gym wear, sports nutrition, sports nutrition um, and all that kind of stuff. And if you come down to the shop, he's going to sort you out a deal and he's going to give you some advice while you're here as well. Cool. Thank you, Ashley.